So this is the six ingredients that you'll need for the bacon cheese bread balls. First, you'll need some bread dough. Now you can use store-bought dough, or I'm gonna link leave a link above for a very easy white bread recipe. Then you'll need some sunflower oil or any baking oil that you like, olive oil, whichever you prefer. 500 grams of cheddar cheese, 500 grams of chopped up bacon, and then a Dutch oven pot or a pot that you can use in the oven. And then you will need some uh, fresh cream. So this is only 300 ml of num milk fresh cream. First just fry the bacon until it's nice and crispy. Sorry about that special effects. I left the pan on the fire a little bit too long. So the bacon is nice and crispy. Add about a kilogram of bread dough to a pot or a, a dish. Just add all the bacon. Then you can add some of the cheese and start kneading it in like that. Just work it nice. Get it in there. Fold it onto itself like that. And then add more cheese. Maybe all of the cheese. And then just start folding it over itself so it can work its way in. So after kneading the dough for a while, this is something what it, this is about what it should look like. The bacon is well worked in, the cheese are everywhere, and then you just make little balls like this. They should fit in your hand like that, and you just add them in. You oil the pot first. I ended up using the um grease of, that was left from the bacon just to oil the pot all around and then you just continue adding them just like that one at a time until it's completely filled up so after your um, pot looks like this all the little balls have been filled now it's time to make your sauce so with the onion soup we just add a little bit now that's about three two tablespoons three tablespoons now you can also just add uh, three teaspoons or tablespoons of brown sugar to the cream. That will give it a nicer glaze. But we tried, decided to try something different today. So we just add the onion soup and then add all of the cream. Mix it up nicely. The sauce is made. And you just pour it gently over the, the bread like so. Add the lid and then it's time to add it to the fire. So if you have an oven you can just preheat it and then add um, the pot over to it. I think 180 degrees should be sufficient in an oven. Since this is a Dutch oven you sort of have to wing it and just add um, some coals all around it and heat it up just like that. And then so once you're, you're done adding the coals on top, um, especially on top, um, you can just let it go for 15 minutes and check it. But as you see, I've put it into the fire where the surface bed was already hot. Um, but yeah, after it's lo it looks like this, you can just leave it for 15 minutes. So this is another 15 minutes later. Let's open it quickly. As you can see it's cooking nicely. Test it with the fork, you see it's still, oh, that's heavy. And uh, so you see it's not ready yet. We can leave it for another 30 minutes in there to, to cook still. So this is another 20 minutes later. Let's have a look. So this is what it currently looks like. Can test it with a, with a fork. It looks about right. Let's take it off and take one out. Let's have a look here. Yeah. One of these. Here you go. It's a little bit hot. That's right. <laughs> After my wife stopped laughing at me. The bread is fast disappearing. Everybody's really enjoying it.